Hello, welcome back to an episode of We Are Again on the Staircase, and we're talking with Victor Voss. I want to know what this dude is all on about. Let's see. <laughs> Getting a lot of those dubious flyers throughout the city. Very, very, very oh, weird fellow. Oh! Assassins. Why? What are they trying to assassinate? Hmm. Oh, they're with Oh, boy. Um. Ho. Oh, the trader just disappeared. That is quite convenient. All right. So, what am I going to do? Uh, I could try to do the earthquake and get as many of them as possible. Hopefully that works. Bam. Yeah. We just lay waste to everything. So that one is pretty much dead. I could try the poison on them. There we go. You nice. Be more careful who you cross. Whoa. What do you mean cross? Well, they are undead, right? But this is not an undead. Who are they fighting for? That is just such a weird, weird environment. Hmm. That's like... Ah, okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna bring the beast up here. And then I'm gonna smack it. There we go. Nice. I could, uh... Yeah. We could even take it out. Which turn is it? This turn, right next to the bit. Yeah. Let's do this. That's petrified. I only need to take down this icicle guy. Come on. Come on, ice man. Heed. Oh no, Fane's about to die. That's not good. His turn didn't even start yet. There we go. Now, time to laser some fellows. Uh, yeah, that could work. Ooh, citizens. Getting a wee bit too close for my leggy. Now, uh, is that one pretty much dead? Who knows? Uh, I could make them go kaput as well. What about this guy? I could... Oh, yes, it works. Nice. Oh, yeah, the charm. That was unexpected, I presume. Bam. Right. Now, what else can I do? Um, That one is on my side. That one may just burn forever. What's this? 400 and something. Let's just kill it with fire. And then I could throw up a block right there. Nice. Then, who's next? Uh, I could try to give myself some armor. Now, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna throw it right next to us. Sweetie. And next we're going to attack it directly. Which doesn't really do us any. Paladin to wait. Are they on my side? I hope so. Ooh. Perfect targeting. They really try to keep me safe. That's nice. That's absolutely nice. Alright. Um, yeah, I can do like water damage and whatnot. Let's just throw this up here. That should do it. There we go. Another one dead. And then I just need to take down this guy with like an exorbitant amount of damage. There we go. Maybe I should have used some stun attacks or whatnot. Come on. Oh no. What just happened? Masterful assassin resisted death. What? How did he die? How did he do that? Okay, that is somewhat out of range, sadly. All right, what else we got? Uh, I could try this. I could try the electric jolt, which doesn't go far enough. Uh, this one also doesn't go far enough. Like blinding radiance. Okay, it could work. Wait a minute, that was a circle uh, there for a moment. See that? There we go, it works. Nice, nah, just 11 damage or something. I could try to... Nah, I can't really teleport it. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, if I were to use some kind of AOE against it, I would be able to make it work. But like that, definitely not so much. Hmm. Nah, let's just skip that turn. And we're good. Yeah. Ah, we survived. And where did Victor Vosco? Did he just disappear? What happened to him? Where did Victor go? Um. Yeah. Ah, over here. He just left the scene. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you. So, what does this assassin have? Ah. The spirit stares at you. His visage of spectral bone exudes contempt. Hmm. When he attacked, he said you had made an enemy. Ask who he was talking about. Come. Surely you know of one rich enough to employ an assassin or two. Oh, are we talking about the lizard? The spirit laughs, pleased with his own obnoxiousness. Hmm. That's what his employer hoped to accomplish by killing you. You stand in the way, God Woken. Did you really imagine your path to be settled and the way clear of strife? Hmm. Well, sometimes you can be lucky, right? Alright. Ah, nice. Every now and then you can get a decent amount of experience or... The items are actually very uh, normal. Uh, even this guy doesn't have that much for us to get. So, let's get this thing. Ah, uh, we don't need the robes. Oh, no quality when I see it. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I still forgot to pick up the uh, the chest from the, from the river. Ah, uh, every time. Oh. That was an accidental find, by the way. Anyway, as I said. Uh, river, chest. Uh, that's the one down here. I got... I had to talk to someone. Who's this? Citizen Bravney. Let's move this up there. So, now. Really now. Eh? Okay, wait a minute. Um... Let me just move this chest a wee bit to the side so we can actually move. Ooh. Alright, so that one can go now. Perfect. And then there's still this Victor Voss fellow. But now I have to check my inventory again. <laughs> uh, this again. What about this? Summon fast luck. Um, I think he actually knows it already. Yes, that one goes to fame. Let's identify. Da -da 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 -da. Would, yeah, it would actually be much nicer if the items already come identified. That would make things so much easier. Like if you have the lore master requirement, of course. But then you wouldn't know what's new and what's not. So we got feathery bartering. Ooh, nice combo actually. Retribution. Ah, that one could go. And what about this? Two-handed stuff. I don't use stuff. But melt and ignite, 100%. That's actually pretty sweet. So, what's on that note? Uh, there's but one word hastily scribbled on the scrub of paper. God woken. Mm, doesn't help us that much. Warfare Huntsman Geomancer. Okay. But no. There's nothing else in there that's of any use for us. Good. Now, time to talk to a Vossi. Very shady fellow. What do we got? Jar maggot, some other stuff, and necklets or ne necklets, necklace of the sun. Uh, last right skill book. Be quick. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna talk with the rat first, maybe. You want meat and bread? Head to the sewers. Those fancy dwarves down there are gorging on the good stuff. Hmm. Always the good stuff. Always the good stuff. Wait a minute. What else can we get down here, though? Look at this. Like, 
tons of fish going about again. Hmm, no one gets closer and closer to the ships. And then there's this like synthesizing image, but no, this is a different island or like part of the city altogether. I'm not gonna step there yet. So, what do we have here? What is this painting? Painting of a relic. Slightly damaged. Well, that was my bad, sorry. Hmm. The man glowers from under his hood. You glower back. You can't see his eyes, but you know they're trained on you. Hmm. You are equipped well enough for a barroom brawl, my friend. But if you strike from the shadows as effectively as you strike in the light, you may find my supplies invaluable. Ooh, thank you. Mm, look through his supplies. About the ambush in the candles. Yeah, what about that? Ah, yes. You do seem to draw the wrong kinds of attention, do you not? I'm afraid I don't know your little friends, though. My associates tend to be more... clandestine. Hmm. Is there more on your mind? Right. Ah, uh, oh, tridents. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's good stuff. And, of course, again, it has to be finesse. When it comes to resistance values, though, this is absolutely perfect. Kind of interferes with my set right now, but... Ah, oh, this is awesome. I really need to give Fane some finesse points just because. And then I'm going to give him this boots. And then he gets like, ah, oh, such nice high lines of it. Jump over the enemy landing behind their back and backstabbing them for damage. <laughs> Sweet. With a, with a wand. No, it says requires dagger. Oh. But the damage scales with a wand right now. That is just so weird. Did I? Yeah, I learned this one. I just never actually tend to use it. Good. Uh, nice items, nice items, nice items. But other than that, there's like nothing in there really. Actually, what I have to do... What I have to do instead is I uh, I have to find a trader that's always at 100%. Um, like the attitude towards me. And then uh, I need to sell to them all the time. That inventory refreshes every now and then, so that's good. You, over here. You need more than wits on these wild streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's see. Everything is safe for now. Let's open this up. And go sideways. Now it's time for Beastie Boy. There we go. And that was interesting things, though. Let's go sideways and run. Dude. That one goes to Fane. That one can be sold. Don't know about this one, but this is a Fane thing as well. There we go. Good. Now, time to run. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. There's more stuff. And we like our stuff. Ooh. Even more. Nice. Da 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 da. So, poison resistance, feed array, critical chance. None of this is of interest because my feed is poison resistant. Happened to be an undead. The doctor thanks you for your assistance on Blood Moon Island. Hmm. In thanks, he offers some words of advice. Look to the lizard, consulate. Powerful magic can be found there. Thank you. Why is it that the random citizen uh, seems to find this an interest to with us? Weird. Who cares to trade? Okay. There, cancel. So, how many more traders are there? There's like Greg Gannon. Another citizen. Trader Adam. Uh, Trader Vela. Another citizen. I think it was like three of those or whatnot. So, how do we do this? South first, I would say. But let's just have a little talk with the traders before we do anything. I got real lucky when the void woke and attacked. They didn't go anywhere near the chemist state. I know some people that lost everything. Hmm. Ask if void woke are the reason there are so many people crowding around. Some maybe, but most of us are here to trade with chem. 
He's tough to nail down. Luckily, our appraiser Cat's already made her way into the estate. The Kems lost nothing in the attack, so Cat will try to convince them to share a little. Uh huh. Say that he puts a lot of trust in this cat. Who is she? She's he, our leader. Whatever. And a damn fine appraiser too. Meet her inside, and she might even trade with you. Ooh, ooh she might even Hope trade. You like what you see. What do we got here? Necromancer telekinesis Elsa. leadership. Good, 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 good. Um, I'm really interested in the empty slot, but it would be nice to get better stuff than that. But this is a nice fellow to sell uh, gold to, or maybe even steal stuff from, and then sell it back to them. <laughs> the the good old strategy right so then there's that coin and is this a beggar or something could be all right all of the special npcs we keep for later let me just go in a little shopping spree i heard there's a bard in this quarter who's got the best set of lungs in arcs we could use a merry tune or two after what happened yes and owls have been flocking in and out of kem mansion all day I suppose Lord Kem is trying to drum up support for his revolt against the Magisters. Hmm. Don't like that. If you're looking for Cat, she's uh, she's evaluating all of Kem's antiquities. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a while, uh, but, but hey, why not do some shopping while you wait? Kind of sounds as if she's nipping it. <laughs> right. Wonder why there's so many traders milling around. Well, this is the estate of the. Uh, Venerable Kems. We've all come to trade with Linda and his missus, but with recent events, let's just say they're busy. But Cat's inside. She'll come up with something. Hmm. Cat. Ask the man who he's talking about. She's an appraiser and our boss to boot. You'll meet her if you head inside. If you've got anything she's interested in, could be she'll make you a good deal. Hmm. He looks around covertly before turning back to you with a wink. Could be a... a Really good deal. Mm -hmm. Peruse the merchants good inventory. Stuff, yeah? So, of course, we got some summoning things. Huntsman, power kinetic necromancy. That's a good one, actually. Uh, could be good for Thane. Perseverance again. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Ah, uh, there we go. The ancient belt. Good resistance. Good life. That's a, that's a really good one. It has a fixed amount of it. So, who would benefit the most from this? Actually, a tank like he would. Okay, leadership would go. Perseverance is actually not that big of a pro Ah, oh, the belt doesn't have that much physical resistance. And it would not have Lucky Charm anymore. Mech. But again, I would get fire resistance. Um, that's just one issue. I have no idea how much resistance I actually have. <laughs> uh, that is the weird bit. Okay, so the ancient belt is pretty cool. Let's see how much resistance is you have. Yeah, 40 something. So it would then be like at 50 whatever, uh, with one exception, poison. Hmm. Could I maybe maximize it a wee bit? <laughs> I could wear that. Uh, what about this one? Constitution, sneaking, perseverance, again, HP. Yeah, this is more like a uh, HP kind of belt. Hmm. Yeah, I, I could actually use that. I'm not really bothered by physical thingamajig. And I would oh, benefit from fire resistance there as well. Ah, oh, that is awesome. Theathery. Yeah, we need the theathery, of course. Uh, sad about the constitution, though. So, uh, we are going to... Are we going to buy it though? That's a that that, that is the question. Yeah. I bet you know your prickets from your portraits. Wanna trade? Wanna trade? Cat's still not back. But you can always check out my wares while you're Yeah, 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 yeah. Um Need to be really quick now. Do I? It's dark. But I can hear the water below. Below. Ah, you know what? I got so much. I got so much gold. Stuff, yeah. I can just get it. So, there we go. There's no reason for us to be stealing this. <sighs> uh, come on, come on, come on. So, now, let's look at the health. 340. Or 3440. Something. 
strange happened. What the? Heals vitality. Oh! was unexpected. I could have backfired. Okay, so uh, who would benefit the most then from this thing? Lucky Charm sneaking? Yeah. He would. Uh, let's give it to the beast. There we go. Nice. He definitely loses a little bit. Um, but the resistance comes up again. And this can go to the Red Prince for safekeeping. Ah... And now he, with his infinite, pretty much, <laughs> uh, amount of health. Unbelievable. Love that. So, Vega. The trader looks at the mansion behind her nervously. Then back to you. Looking for, um, something special? Hmm. Adjust your headgear. She seems fearful. Has she noticed something onto wood? Am I that transparent? I'm a little on edge, it's true. She nods to the looming estate. See behind me. That's Linda Kem's mansion. And if Cat's to be believed, Kem's got something valuable in there. So valuable that if we can find it, we'd be set for life. She's in there now, looking for this... this... thing. I don't know what it is, but Cat promises our lives are about to change for the better. Hmm. Ask more about Cat. Who is this woman? She's an appraiser, and a damn good one at that. Kem's obsessed with his own riches. He brings Cat in to tell him how much his collection's worth. Then basks in his wealth like a lizard in the sun. Her voice lapses into a soft hmm. whisper. People like Kem, they just get richer and richer. While the rest of us scramble for their scraps. Cat says we deserve better. And I believe her. All hmm. done, so Cat is selling hope. Ah. <sighs> What a cheat way. Okay, I had a sufficient geomancy, yes, but the rest is not good. Set poisoned. Ha! <laughs> uh, this is a good one. Sadly, it has summoning on it, but we could maybe even utilize it. Uh, that's good for us, actually. 97,000. Oh boy, that's a lot. Um... Let me, let me just save here. Uh, maybe I can... 97,000. Maybe I can cheese my way through somehow, except... Okay, 2,000. And... There we go. It's like 3,400 or something like that. And how much is it now? Oh, okay. We got it a little bit cheaper, but it's still... Still pretty much costs you an arm and a little leg. <laughs> One huge stack of gold. Gone. Just like that. Uh, anyway, I want that ring. So... By the way... Now I really want to steal from those fellows. I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She responds with a nervous way, hmm. and her eyes flit. Okay, but now let's exchange one of those rings here. The earth resistance ring might be a good choice. Ah, uh, bollocks! One huge stack of gold gone. Unbelievable! All right, uh, this thing goes to fame. Wait a minute, who did all of this setting, by the way? Like, there has to be a. Where's the bloody ring when you need it? I need this ring. Uh, shouldn't it be with who did the trading? Weird, 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 weird. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's not the beast. Where's the bloody ring? That's not the one. Where is it? Huh. Looks like I'm blind. Wait a minute. 
Okay, maybe... No, I I'm looking for a unique ring, right? So it's... A unique ring. Where'd it go? Where is it? Huh. Where'd that ring go? Where did it go? Where'd that ring go? There. Okay. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> okay, it's a green one. Uh, that took a little while to find. Alright. Sweet. So this one goes to Fane because it's a cool ring. Poison resistance, control hydro system. Hmm. So I'm permanently poisoned now. Can heal all the time. <laughs> and uh, so let's give him some insight as well. But what about this guy? Glad to have you back. Look through his inventory. Does he? Nah, he doesn't have any other uh, useful items. It's just those three. Interesting. Maybe there are a few more traders around. Let's see. Uh, Lady Paulina Kemp. No, 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 no. Let's just peruse a little bit around. Why not? Check out the surroundings. Ah, there's Adam again. Whetstone and well, sweet. Can the whetstone be used for something useful at least? That would be nice. Hey, Citizen Jack. Wait, if we go further this way, where would we end up at? Ah. Yeah, why not? Let's just explore the surroundings. Come on. What's this? I found something. Ooh. We got ourselves something to dig out of the ground. Perfect. Uh, what is this? Uh, a backpack. With some stuff in it. Hmm. Hey, nice, 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 nice. <laughs> and the carrot. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay, looks like we got most of the items and... Ah, sweet. We even explored a large part of the map. That's the thing that I always like to do. So, that one goes to me. That one can be sold. That one has to be identified. Undeployed thunder trap. What is this? Telekinesis critical chance. That's a decent one, actually. But, um, I can just throw this out. Has no other bonuses. Whoa. Okay, let's throw the pier in. Um, this goes to me again. Here they is again. Alright. Now what am I going to do with this backpack? Because I have to get rid of it. Ah, ah, there we go. It's just too many bloody backpacks at one point. And I'm just wondering about with those things. No clue what to do. Oh, wait. That could actually be the occasional item uh, somewhere down there, also. Let's see, anything again down here? Uh, nope, it's just that short. Good, 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 good. Nice. Ah, oh, so awesome. Maybe I can get a, another healing ring as well. Actually, the better way... Yeah, the best way would be to have a character with more than 100% uh, poison resistance, set poisoned, and then get the... Uh, uh, get the healing on them as well. So two ring... Uh, two permanent healing thingies are happening all the time. Um, and the character itself should not be an undead because otherwise the uh, normal healing backfires. That's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, if a normal character is able to get tons of 
poison resistance, then that would definitely boost them a lot. But I just don't know how to do that. I guess you need, like, special kind of stuff for that. Ah, come on, there was something. Ah. Yeah, of course it's locked. So, let's pick this thing. Righty. Ah, seeds. Look at that. Who do we have here? Some citizens, some plants. Oh, that's a nice garden. That's a really nice environment. Sweet. I think I'm actually going the uh, long way around before I'm going into the building or something. Oh, should I talk with the cat, the appraiser first? That's the thing. Should we focus on on Kem's little estate, or should we focus more on the outside first? Oh, questions upon questions upon question. So let's mark this with a one, and uh, let's mark this with another one. Why not? Hmm. But because we actually, yeah. Because we got the uh, quest for cat, we are going to do cat's thing in the next one. Just to get some continuity. <laughs> Until next time then, like and subscribe. Ta-ta!